Are you ready? What's going on, my good friends out there? All the new subscribers, appreciate it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Another week of House of the Dragon Game of Thrones prequel. Episode 8. <laughs> what can you say, man? This show just keeps getting better and better and better and better. And you're really not hearing... Well, there are a few people, of course, out there that are haters of the show, of course. You're going to have those people who hate the show who's going to be like, Oh, this is this and it's that and it's teaching our kids misogyny and incest. And, and <laughs> of course, you're going to have those politically correct people that is sitting up on their pedestal looking down on us and be like, Look at these savages enjoying this debauchery. <laughs> you know how it goes already, man. But I enjoy watching Game of Thrones. This TV show is fiction to me. Um, and it's depicting a lot of the stuff that used to happen, of course. It's got to go with it in some ways. But it also, you know, it can tell you what people will accept versus what they wouldn't accept. You know what I'm saying? That's why your boy here is team neutral because there's bad on both sides, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not leaning to anyone in particular at this current moment. I just want to see how this craziness plays out because team green, team black, you know what I'm saying? Like people fail to see the things that are wrong with what the Targaryens do. People do fear, fail, not fear. They fail to see it. And also, just like how I, you know, I was Team Green before, and now that they're on some bullshit, <laughs> or just the same kind of bullshit, I'm off that train. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to jump off. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not no ride or die situation here. But in any case, guys, with no further ado, let's jump into House of the Dragon, episode eight. Man, can't wait to watch this. Let's jump into the reaction, and I will see you guys right after for the review. How long they gonna keep it a secret and not send word? Right? <laughs> How long? Who is this kid now? Is this like. You're sure? <laughs> With his own eyes, Your Grace? They're finding out that he's dead. Who knows? Some of the servants. He told me he wished for Egon to be king. I told you, man, she's gonna mistake it. It is the truth. Uttered with his own lips. Yeah. His last words to me, and I was the only one to hear it. And now he's dead. What is it that could not await an hour? Was Dawn invaded? King is dead. The king is dead. Mm -hmm. With his last breath, he impressed upon the queen his final wish that his son, Aegon, should succeed him as Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. Ah, this is a problem, bro. Then we may proceed now with the full assurance of his blessing on our long-laid plans. Yes, there is much to be done, as we've previously discussed. Now, previously discussed the what? Of the city what? The treasury is well in hand. The gold will be divided for safekeeping. Let ravens be sent to our allies, River Run and Highgarden. Well, 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 hold, hold up, just... Otto. Hold up, bruh. Bruh, this was in motion already. But well, like, why are we moving so fast? Like, we're we're not. Nobody's gonna ask. Like, you know what I mean? Like, is anybody going to ask? You know, what about Renera? <laughs> it's just like, yo, people just came up. They just like, yo, 
all right, this, oh, all right, okay, all right, he's, I guess the queen's right. Uh, it's like Otto had all of this stuff in motion already, even before this meeting was called. Like he's, bro, he's been planning for the king king's death, bro. Like this is crazy. Royal council been planning secretly to install my son without me. My queen. Exactly. There was no need to sully you with darkling schemes. To replace the king's chosen heir with an imposter. His firstborn son is hardly an imposter. Hundreds of lords and landed knights swore mm. fealty to the princess. That was 20 years ago. Most of them are now dead. And I will not believe that he said this on his deathbed alone with only the, the boy's mother as a witness. It is treason at the least. Mind it is your tongue, Lyman. He was well? Which that was never... <laughs> Bruh. That he died of his own accord. Which of us are you accusing of regicide, Lord Beesbury? Whether it was one of you. It will have no Sit part. Down! <laughs> Bro, what the hell? Throw down your sword and remove your cloak, Sir Criston. I am your Lord Commander, Sir Criston. Cast down your sword. I will not suffer insults to her grace, the queen. There was no insult to me, Sir Christian. You let aside your blade. As it come to this, Lord Commander, enough. The door remains shut until we finish our business. Otto, <laughs> I guess this is the Otto everybody was telling me about earlier. Former heir cannot, of course, be allowed to remain free and draw support to her claim. You mean to imprison her? She and her family will be given the opportunity to publicly swear obeisance to the new king. Alison doesn't seem like she you wants this at me. all. A living challenger invites battle and bloodshed. It is unsavory, yes. Un niggas but unsavory must make to secure Aegon's succession. The king wouldn't wish for any of the king did not wish for the murder of his daughter. He loved her. I will not have you deny this. And yet, one more word, and I'll have you removed from this chamber and sent to the wall. Do you suggest, Your Grace? For real? I mean, time is of the essence. Lord Commander Westerling. Take your knights the Dragonstone. Be quick and be clean. Yo. That man said, F this, I'm out, bro. If that's what y'all on. King's God. I recognize no authority but the king's. I have no place here. So Eric. Where's the prince? Forgive me, Lord Hand. Nobody Enough. knows where this dude is. Protect him. Find him. None can know who you are or what you seek, including the queen. My lord. Bruh. What is the meaning of this? They locked her in her room? Oh, they hadn't left yet. Yo, they locking up everybody, bro. Bruh. They just, they putting the whole place on lockdown. It's like, we don't want this information to get out. Trust again to you, Sir Kristen, and to your loyalty. Egon must be found and he must be brought to me. The very fate of the Seven Kingdoms depends on it. Everything you feel for me is your queen. I will not fail you. I'll come with you. That would not be my desire, Aemond. But Eric isn't the only one who knows Aegon's doings. <laughs> it's really Osbert from freaking La The Last Kingdom, dude. Such a different role. Just, just so awesome what actors Aegon can do, or they can change their demeanor like that. And convincingly, too. Sometimes a reverence. Well, image of the mother? Drinking companion. 
Knowing that he has been in the past a patron of your fine establishment, we thought to inquire here as to his whereabouts. You see, the man we see is the young Prince Agon. I may trust, I hope, in the discretion of your trade. The prince is not here. You once wore your banners to Rhaenyra. You must now pledge them to the future king. Why is this being done in secret? First, with my heart <laughs> on this matter. You'll not leave this room without declaring your intention. They are. I am no oath breaker. I will not bend the knee. Okay. I don't know, man. Anyone else? This fell keeps its sworn oath to the princess. Very well. Damn, that dude Long says. King. Well, live the king. Damn. That <laughs> guy was like, I'm not trying to die today. <laughs> On a ship to Yeti, he could be dead. Let us hope for your mother's sake that is not the case. I don't know. Damn. These kids? Makes them more formidable. Prince Egon spends many a night in this place. Egon. One of many I'd wager. You just have bastards just all over the place, huh? It is I, the younger brother, who studies history and philosophy. It is I who trains with the sword, who rides the largest dragon in the world. It is I who should be. I get it, man. I really do, bro. To toil for what others are freely given. Mm -hmm. His secrets are his own. He's welcome to them. I'm next in line to the throne. Should they come looking for me, I intend to be found. <laughs> This dude is trying to get out of the city. Something must be done. Aegon is unfit to rule. This dude is trying to head out so he can go tell Rhaenyra. <laughs> I can take you to Prince Aegon. Rather, I'm sent by one who knows where he is. She'll trust this to the hand of the king only. Impossible. I think he will wish to hear what the White Worm can tell him. Prince Egan is sowing his royal oats. <laughs> he out here in these streets. He was fleeing from the gate. The Lord Confessor presumes. I have no love for the princess. Where were you going then with such urgency? Let the king's justice take him. You've spent many hours with the queen of late. There's no reason those hours cannot in the end benefit you. And yeah, they're not bearing him with, you know, Targaryen customs. They are... So I'm guessing he's not going to be, like, flamed by dragon. Oh, weird to see Alicent cry over Viserys. And a lot of people think that Alicent never had no love for him, which I never agreed with. My sincerest regrets for the lack of ceremony. And you are usurping the throne. It was my husband's dying wish. <gasps> Believe it or no, it is of no consequence. House Valarian has long allied itself with the Princess Rhaenyra, and what has it gained you? Your daughter dead, alone in Pentos. Your son cuckolded. Rhaenyra's heirs are none of yours. The word of my house is not fickle. No. All right. But, dear cousin, you should have been queen. I little thought to hear those words from you. The Iron Throne was yours by blood and by temperament. We do not rule, but we may guide the men that do. 
gently, away from violence and sure destruction, and instead toward peace. <laughs> and what of my dragon? If we are overmatched, Rainier will be tempted to strike us, and war will ensue. Without your dragon, she may be persuaded to negotiate. If it's Driftmark you want, you shall have it. For you and your granddaughters to pass on as you see fit. You are wiser than I believed you to be. Alicent Hightower. A true queen counts the cost to her people. And yet you toil still in service to men. You never Ouch. imagined yourself on the Iron Throne. Of course she has, but... Oh my god! I leave you with your thoughts. Ring the bell when you have an answer. She has no claim to it, though. That's the that's the thing. What are you gonna do? Kill your kids? What? You yourself are the mysterious white worm. I take it. Where is Prince Aegon? I thought the prince is in Flea Bottom, where no one is to be trusted. Where's the prince? He is safely tucked away. I want an end to the savage use of children in Flea Bottom. An obscenity. Either tolerated hey. or ignored by the crown. I look into it. When your blood's ripen and you install your grandson on the throne. Remember, it was me who put him there. I could have killed him. I'm sorry, but ain't nobody gonna remember you. Okay. <laughs> remember. Where is the white worm? She sold you for a price. Your grandfather, the hand, will meet you outside the city walls. Aegon is such a disappointment, dude. Like, this dude. There is no way this dude ascended the tr throne. There's no way. I do regret this, friend. Yo, they, they gonna kill him? I was hoping you disappeared. Is our father truly dead? Yes. And they're going to make you king. Let me go! Where's your brother, huh? Let me go! Let me go! Damn, brother didn't even help. I have no wish to rule, no taste for duty. I'm not suited. The queen awaits. This dude is... <sighs> well played. None of this is a game. And yet you treat it as one. She uh, is working that dress, man. Prize a pouch of silver. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a simp a little bit. <laughs> Whatever our differences, our hearts remain as one. Our hearts were never one. I see that now. Rather, I've been a piece that you moved about the board. I wanted whatever you impressed upon me to want. Mm. And now the debt comes to you. A debt you are happy enough to pay. A sacrifice. No king has ever lived that hasn't had to forfeit the lives of a few to protect the many. Though I understand your squeamishness. Reluctance to murder is not a weakness. Hey, talk to him, Alison. We will send terms to Rhaenyra on Dragonstone. True terms such that she may accept without shame. If she lives, her allies will mass behind her banners, looking for her return. My husband would have desired this mercy be shown to his daughter. Your husband? Or you, his daughter's childhood companion? Both, I guess? My son will be anointed tomorrow at dawn. The whole of King's Landing must witness his ascent. My son will take the crown of his namesake, the Conqueror and carry Blackfire, his sword. Let the people remember the ancient strength of House Targaryen. Looks so much like your mother in certain lights. 
Yeah, that's just weird. But <laughs> just out of all that, I just said that, and that's what you say to me. <laughs> just, uh... If you asked yourself, I wonder how it is that your father, the Han, found Ekon first. Whoever designed that dress, bro, props. I love it. <laughs> There is a web of spies at work in the Red Keep. Your father knows this, but has left it in place. And this weaver watches me. Is that... Wait a second, this dude has a foot fetish? Is that what it is? Is the... <laughs> he has a foot fetish. That's... That's why she took her shoes off, because he... It's like, to get... For him to explain what... For him to divulge information to her, that's the deal. It's like you show me your feet, I'll tell you anything, baby. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, he has a foot fetish. Because one of the little spiders is your lady in waiting. Talia. No, I'm more like her. There is one way to destroy his advantage. When the queen dies, the bees fly without purpose. Begging your pardon for the turn of phrase, your grace. I assume this task falls within your expertise. If you wish it, it will be done. I wonder if she felt like in real, like in the moment, she felt kind of creepy doing that. My nigga, I know... Yo, there is no way she felt comfortable doing that scene, bro. There's no way. I wonder what Renice is going to do. Okay. I cannot let this treachery stand. Are they going to kill Renice? Where are we? Just south of Kingsway. The black water's this way. This way. I don't trust this. It's trying to get rainy. This, this doesn't seem right. She might get stabbed in the crowd or something. Have the decency to look grateful. Do you know what's been done to give you this day? Hunt it, though. In an hour, you will be king. And my father never wanted this. That's not true. Steadfastly, he upheld the nearest play. He changed his mind. Wow. <laughs> he could have, but he never did. Because he didn't like me. It's so hard for anyone to believe her. I mean, it's not true. Do that. not toy with me, mother. I speak the truth. Listen to me, Egon. Your grandfather, the Hand, will try to impress on you that Rhaenyra should be put to the sword. You must reject this council. For all her fault, she is your sister, your, your father's daughter. Do you love me? Are you serious? You imbecile. <laughs> Not even a question if Alison loves Aegon. <laughs> What is why is she smiling? But people of King's to... Landing. Today is the saddest of days. Viserys the peaceful is dead. But it is also the most joyous of days. He whispered his final wish that his firstborn son, Aegon, should succeed him. It would be in a crowd, right? That makes sense. Oh. <laughs> okay. Can I go back to lunch now? <laughs> this is actually happening. Let's see. 
Because Rhaenyra comes in on dragon back right now and just lands on top of this thing. Good fortune. <laughs> May the father defend him in his need. May the crone lift her shining lamp. The crown of the conqueror passed down through generations. Bruh. Let the seven bear witness. Aegon Targaryen is the true heir to the Iron Throne. All hail his grace, Aegon, second of his name, king of the Andals and the Rhoynar and the First Men, lord of the Seven Kingdoms, and protector of the realm! This man don't look happy at all, bro. That next episode is going to be nuts. Feeling the power now <laughs> at all. It's rainy, ain't it? Who is it? Yeah, I told you it's her, man. That's what she went to get. Them, yo, I'm going to get the crew. We we coming back. So, what I'm going to preface this by saying before I go into the episode and talk about what happened in the episode, I'm going to preface this by saying that this is definitely the weakest episode of of the of the season, um, hands down. I'm gonna say that off bad because I was gonna save it till the end, but I'm gonna save it off bad so that you know whatever it's definitely the weakest um i'll talk about why <laughs> i'll talk about why at the end as i go along you'll get my drift and talk when i'm talking about the episode um there were things happening in this episode that of course we all wanted to happen you know what i'm saying we all wanted it to happen um when it comes on to how Allison was going to respond to hearing this, not really understanding what Viserys was trying to tell her. And people are, there were some people that were saying that, um, you know, v Viserys was talking to, thinks he was talking to Rhaenyra, right? And that's the reason why he said what he said. Either way, the way how Allison decided to handle this, as in not go along with what her dad has been doing because it's like, um, and at least trying to do something honorable, you know, in the same breath. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, we just mended fences. I don't want to go out there and just decide, oh, we're just going to kill Renera now and everybody that could have any other claim to the throne like i get what otto and them was planning to do i get it i get why they want to do it but is it right you get what i'm saying is it right for them to not at least try to negotiate or something of the situation because it's because it's like this right they really don't know right they they really don't know how Rhaenyra is going to react now she could say no I've been you know what I'm saying we I've been going through all of this stuff to get here it's my turn you know what I mean but we we don't know 
maybe Rhaenyra doesn't, you know what I'm saying, from the last episode where she's like, yo, this is a heavy burden, man. Uh, you know, the, the responsibility is definitely there. Like, there's no question about it. The responsibility, she has to understand what the responsibility is that she has to carry, you know, throughout this entire um, endeavor or this responsibility that is laid upon her because she's the named heir, right? But at the same time, you never know because of the situation or because of why it's just like, oh, just let, you know, let dude rule, whatever. Although... To be honest, I don't see Rhaenyra doing that. I think she would go to more brimstone and fire situation where it's just like hell or high water. I'm sitting on that throne. I've been through enough. I've been fighting for this my entire my entire life, pretty much. Right. Since I was named here, I've been through too much. And imagine my father dies. You guys don't tell me. Right. You do your succession or whatever right and now you want me to just be okay with what's happening because they were gonna do Alicent was gonna get Aegon on the throne first and then go negotiate with Rhaenyra that's not going to be good because you can't do some behind the back thing as us like if you wanted to negotiate you know what I'm saying? You would have told me that's kind of grimy that you don't tell me that my dad is dead and is, you know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to succeed or whatever, or tell me, hey, you know what I'm saying? On his deathbed, he told me that he wants Egan to ascend to the throne. Like, it's just not cool. Um, so they spent pretty much the entire episode looking for Egon. You know what I'm saying? I would say they, they spent about 20, about 20 minutes looking for Egon. You know what I'm saying? And some in some conversation is in between as well. Allison and Laris, um, some other conversations as well. The council and all of this other stuff that was going on as well. Now, the reason why I'm saying that this is the weakest episode of the season is because it didn't. Mm, it didn't top any of the ones before. I'm not saying it's weak in the sense of every episode before was a 10 and this is a one. It's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if every episode before was a 10 out of 10. This is definitely like a nine. You know what I'm saying? A nine, maybe even given a lower score of like an eight because the, the succession, the ceremony was very underwhelming to me. I didn't, uh, um, that's why you hear me ask myself, it's like, why don't I feel good about this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I think the, the epicness of it, it just didn't feel right. I think. And that's just maybe based on just my feeling, not necessarily a bias, but that's just maybe just my feeling about the entire episode and how it was carried out. That just made me not want to see this terrible idiot on the throne. Like, no matter what team you're rooting for, team green, team black, you don't want to see an idiot put in a position to rule. Egan is dumb. You get what I'm saying? He doesn't want it, and I get it. And I don't think you should ever put somebody into leadership positions who doesn't want to be leaders. You're asking for problems. And even if because of how he thought his, oh, his father never liked him or whatever the situation is, either way, you know what I'm saying? If, if he's going to change, if, if the situation is he's planning to change now because now he understands that his father wants him on the throne and his mom wants him on the throne and he's gonna get the dagger now and learn the history of it and all this other stuff like even if you want to say he's going to change it's still not a good idea not in my eyes it's not and that's why maybe i felt so underwhelmed by the ceremony because i'm just like you should not be ascending i would rather see Amon on the throne because he's about it he wants it he's about it now, whether or not, whether or not Eamon would be a great leader, that's yet to be told. I think he would be, I think he would stand up for what he believes in and speak the truth. I've seen him do nothing but speak the truth. He calls them strong boys because he knows they're strong boys. He, you get what I'm saying? He's like, yo, 
I'm chill. You know what I'm saying? I may have lost an eye, but I gained a dragon. I got a biggest dragon. His ego is there. You need a little bit of that to be good leaders. You need a little bit of that. Um, so for me, you know, to see Allison even cry for Viserys, that's is something that probably a lot of people never would not expect because people swear up and down that Allison hates Viserys and which I have been saying in the earlier episodes when people was like, oh, you know, Otto sold off his daughter, or, or gave his daughter to the to the king and all of this other stuff. Yes, I agree that Otto did do that. But at the same time, Allison did have feelings for Viserys, genuine feelings. She may have grew out of some of them as is like, you know what I'm saying? Kind of felt some sort of way about how, you know what I'm saying? She felt like she just had to lay there and be, just be that person. You get what I'm saying? But even if you're not going to say she loved them completely, she loved them some, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She, she had some love for him, um, as her husband, not as just some friend or somebody she know or, or her friend's father. You get what I'm saying? She had some love for him. Um, you just, you don't cry for people that you don't love, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just don't. You know what I mean? I even, you know, when when people that have, you know, don't like me for, my, for the time that they know me and they die, and we were friends before or whatever the situation is, I still shed a little tears. I'm not even going to hold you. You know what I'm saying? So I, I believe a lot of times when um, in certain situations, I feel like you just you just don't go to that length. You know what I'm saying? You just don't go to that length when it comes on to somebody that you hate or hate people who, you know what I'm saying, who have, you know, not really shown me love and stuff like that. You still got you know, even if you were in having some sort of relationship with them at some point, you will shed some tears for them as a person. And that's just people who probably don't like you, probably have done, you know, crazy shit to you in the past and stuff like that. Um, I still feel like, you know, sometimes you will, you will shed tears for those people. Now you can be hard, you know what I'm saying? You can be, you know what I'm saying? weirdest scene in the entire show this laris and his foot fetish um now i don't know you know what i'm saying i don't know how these actors be doing certain things but i don't know if she like in real life like doing that scene when they told her she was about to do a scene like this she, is no way she could be <laughs> there's, there's no way she was comfortable in that scene like i just don't see a person in that position as a woman unless she's into that too i just don't feel like i'm not a man in there he literally put his arm and he's moaning <laughs> he's moaning he puts his hand he man was 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 getting busy <laughs> anyway so let's talk about the final scene of the episode where rainy's burst in with her dragon from under the freaking i don't know what that place is called I, I don't know if that's the red keep i don't know if that's actually the red keep or because i keep mixing it up i don't know if that's the red keep or the red keep is the throne room where the iron throne is i don't know where they call the, the red keep okay <laughs> okay i don't know exactly you guys can probably tell me exactly where the red keep is every time they say red keep i'm like where is that <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i think i think they were above the dragon pit i think that's where they were and I think that's the reason why Rainy smiled when she was going over there. Cause it's like, oh, this is a chance for me to go get my dragon. And when she left and you all saw what happened, I thought she was going to burn everybody. I thought that's what she was going to do, but she essentially seems like she sent a warning. It seems like that's what she did. It seems like she sent a warning um, to them. Be like, yo, I'm going to go get Rhaenyra. Y'all better be ready. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what she she did. Or, or she's just going to fly back to Driftmark and call it a day. And just be like, I'm I'm done with all of this. You know what I mean? Um, this was crazy. It was crazy. Um, 
But at the end of the day, as I said, this was definitely not an episode that topped any that came before it. I think, I think they went down a little bit here and the hype is going to be back for the final episode of the season. So I'm looking forward to it, of course. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, let me know if you agree or disagree with me in the comment section. Of course, as always, man, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts. Don't forget to like and comment. I'm out of here. Fire will rain. Let's go.